In my last video I told you how to install the GPT for all UI and some AI models on your local machines. The video was rather long already, so I decided not to include any demonstrations or performance tests. In this video I'll show you how well the different models perform on my ultra portable AMD 6800U device. My unit has 16GB of RAM and during the tests I will plug it in so we are not power constrained and can draw 30W and above. In my last video I had installed this on Windows, this time we'll be running Linux. I will not speed things up in order to demonstrate the performance we get out of this little machine. So feel free to skip ahead if you're only interested in the answers. Last week a new model came out which is called MPT and available in multiple flavors. The base variant has a license which allows it to be commercially used and the chat variant delivers better results but is published under a non-commercial license. There are other flavors as well, one that allows 65,000 tokens input length which is absolutely amazing, but this model is not available on the GPT for all UI, so I won't cover it in this video. Both of the MPT models contain 7 billion parameters, so their performance should be quite good. The other two models which will be included in this comparison are GPT for all J and GPT for all Snoozy. GPT for all J is the completely open model which we talked about in the last video. GPT for all Snoozy is made by the same company but it's based on the Llama model so it's released under a non-commercial license. It's the only 13 billion parameters model in this test so its execution speed will probably be slower than those of the others. So we compare two companies two licenses and two sizes. Let's begin.
In my opinion, the execution speed of those models is quite good, considering that they run on this mobile platform. Even the 13 billion parameters model is usable. In my opinion, those local models are already pretty good when it comes to understanding what I want and producing properly formatted and grammatically correct outputs. In my opinion, the biggest weakness of those open models is the lack of knowledge. I have asked them several specific questions about programming and psychology and most of the time the answers were pretty bad and sometimes the models had no idea what I was talking about. ChatGPT on the other hand understood exactly what I wanted and gave a good answer. The answer was not always perfect and there is a potential that the answer will contain errors. However, the output of ChatGPT if it comes to knowledge questions is way better than the answer of those open models. We are not at a point where those open models can and should be used as a source of information. They are great, however, for storytelling, chatting, having fun and, of course, experimentation and to build upon them. This small test shows that execution speed is not the biggest problem we are facing right now. With increasing quality and knowledge base of those models, we will hopefully be able to hold the knowledge of the world in our hands in a not too distant future. Don't worry you handheld lovers out there, this channel won't slowly drift towards becoming an AI news channel. There are many topics I want to cover regarding the GPD WinMax 2 and probably other handhelds. See you next time. Bye bye.